morning guys hope everybody's doing okay in the current climate um, gonna be tough for a lot of people out there so we wish you all well today I'm gonna be going down to um, a pond we built 10 years ago now uh, maybe a little bit longer actually um, this isn't uh, most customers who have like a, a, a koi pond you know the ten our customers anyway tend to be round about the say about to 2,000 to 6,000 gallons that's the probably the, our average clients ponds now this one is a little bit of a, a special pond um, it's advertised a lot in all the Evolution Aqua material and stuff like that. This is a 32,000 gallon pond um, in Warrington. Um, it's a beautiful pond. Um, it was probably one of the first we did when we started Quality Nishigoi. Um, and it was a, a massive job. Um, it was one of those very special jobs where everything was okay. So, you know, we did everything that we wanted to do on the pond. We pretty much had no restrictions. Um, so we got it, you know, we, we, we could build it. Now, the, the difference with this pond is that the customer built the house last. So the pond was built first, um, which was quite funny, really. I remember going up on a cherry picker where the exit, where the master bedroom would be in the house and looking over the garden. And that's when we figured out the size of the pond. So, but yeah, it's, it's a massive pond, a massive pond. Now, the customer's not really interested in high-end koi or anything like that. He just wants a pond full of fish. He wants to come out and feed them, and that's it. He has um, a strong liking for sturgeon. I think there's one in there which is approaching seven feet now. It's a monster. Um, hopefully, we'll see it today. Um, but, yeah, it is. It's a fantastic pond. I mean, it's um, four bottom drains running into four Nexus 320s now. We, we, they were originally on the 310s. We swapped them over. This was also the very first pond in the UK to trial the automatic systems for the Nexus. And the original one is actually still on there. The actual prototype is still running now. So the auto kits have been an absolute godsend. Um, as you can imagine, some clients don't want to be down there all the time cleaning filters or even at all really. So since it went automatic, it is really good. I mean, we don't have to go down there as often as we used to now. Um, but yeah, it is. It's um, we, we do love this pond. We do like the way that it's built and we like the way that it was designed. Um, so yeah, so we've got four nexuses coming back through four returns all the way around the pond. And then we've got the skimmer, which feeds the waterfall, um, which is beautiful as well when it's running fantastic and the plants are all in there. It really, really does look like a special pond. And it is a special pond. You know, for the size of the pond that it is, 32,000 gallons, the nexuses are actually overworked by 2,000 gallons because they are rated maximum for 7,500 gallons. So this is 32,000 gallons, so we're 2,000 over. Um, and it still runs well, you know, the fish are fine. You know, it, like I said, it's not got high-end koi in it, uh, unfortunately for me, because, you know, it would have been full of, you know, grand champions if it was up to me. But yeah, but it is, it's the, the way that it is. I mean, I think the client's still got some of the old rud that he had in from his original pond um, before he built this property. Um, so yeah, so we'll go down today and we'll have a quick look. Um, but it is, but please, it's not a, you know, the fish in there, they're just the normal fish and it's a ga it's a big, big koi pond and it is rated as a koi pond because it's got all the equipment on. We're running bio UVs on there and you know, everything like that. So it really is a, but he doesn't, he's just not into that sort, sort of koi. So, you know, the, there's a bit of everything in there. So in the past, it has been a bit of a home for waifs and strays. I've had a few customers or, people called up saying you know they can't keep the fish anymore or you know and stuff like that and they've always found a home for them there where they've all been together so yeah so it is it's a really nice pond so what we'll do is we'll um we'll have a ride down there now and check it out and here we are guys now just arriving it's a beautiful day as well Right guys, here we are. It's a beautiful garden. Very well looked after. 
we do regular maintenance on this system so we can just come in whenever get any jobs that we want doing on it it's a beautiful day today so as you can see there's the pond 32,000 gallons now again like I said in my previous part that the fish are not the customer's prime concern in quality wise he just loves having some nice big fish in there to be swimming around and to enjoy the pond um, now as you can see the house now that top right window is where we went up on the cherry picker um, to judge the size of the pond so as you can see in the house you have to you couldn't just put a small pond here you couldn't just do a, a, a tiny little pond in the garden because you'd have no you wouldn't be able to look at it from the house it just looked stupid so you had if you're going to do a pond in this land you have to do a big pond and that's what we did so the house wasn't even built um, when the pond was virtually finished so that that's we got it all done and then they started building on the house the foundations were in when the pond was done but the actual house hadn't taken shape yet so now then like i said there is some nice fish there's four bottom drains you can see the four diffusers on there which are coming on really which always work well now i'm going to see if i can get it the water is very clear now what we had made on this pond is some stainless steel top hats we call them now i'm just trying to see whether you can zoom down i might try and put the phone in the water to show you now what they are is they're sort of like a stainless steel hat with holes in it and we slip them over the top of the diffuser drain so then nothing, we get a lot of problems with leaves here as you can see all around me we get it's a nightmare with, when it comes to leaves so what we do is we've got them four bottom drains which have got the top hats on which i'll try and show you underwater because there is one quite close where i can get to um, and they've got big holes in them and what they do is just they won't let leaves through and with the air that's coming out they blow the leaves away so it stops the leaves getting into the filtration systems so and as you can see there there's the waterfall i remember coming out here one day and with the customer and he he got used some spray paint and went round all the three circles and he said that's where i want the waterfall and that's what we did that's how we built the, we built the waterfall then so i mean the pond is all fiberglass even the waterfalls there are all fiberglass the base was screeded um, there really wasn't any expense spared on this pond it was an in incredible job to do and it's about 10 years old now which is um, incredible really this pond pretty much started us off at quality nishkigoi so this this one was the first major build that we did so we've always supplied the fish and everything like that the fish are looking good they're all look waking up now um, for the spring but they do look good we have to have a feeding ring on there well it's like the feeding thing there because the water they will just go into the skimmer um, so we have a skimmer here there's an overflow as well and there's an auto top up inside the skimmer so like I said he does like his big sturgeon and I'm going to try and find the big one at some stage when I put the phone in to do a bit of underwater shot I will show you the, the top hats as well so like I said there's the the waterfalls these lilies apart these lilies incidentally these are what we put in originally when we first started and they still and when it comes out in the spring it's absolutely amazing so and they're from day one that's one for all you sturgeon fans that's not even the big one a couple of albinos as well which we put in when they were only sort of like six inches. But the water clarity is lovely. The fish are in good nick. All waking up now. So, but it is, it's superb. Now then, the filters are under here. Now you've got to be quite small to get into there but let's see if we can make it a little bit bigger
and there we go. Say hello to four Nexus 320s, all with the automatics on. And we can go down there. A little bit more room now, so we can get to do what we need to do. That's the part for the hydraulic, which has just been serviced. So yeah, and here we go. Each Nexus is to a bottom drain. So we've got them, we've got all purges on every drain as well. This Nexus is just waiting for it to kick in. So this one here is the closest to us. That one there, and that one's the next out, and that one's the next out. So as you can see there, you see the drains coming up. The one at the very, very back where the bench is, is this one. So that's running quite a lot. You know, you're probably running 50 feet on that Nexus and it handles it fine, no problem at all. This was probably the first pond that we ever used um, the automatic kits on. This was the first one in the UK to run them um, and it's still running fine now. So it's still never been changed over. So it really is good. We run, run this system on the bio UVs, Delta bio UVs, which keep the bacteria content down. Um, and also keep the pond very clear, really good units. Um, but everything else obviously is Evolution Aqua. Now this one here, they call it a dirty Harry, believe it or not. And this catches a lot of leaves coming in because that, the skimmer runs the waterfall. So the skimmer takes the water up to the top through the pump. There's the pump there, we only use a small pump. And that goes all the way up to the top there. And then comes back down. And it comes down at a really, really nice, you can see it there coming over. So it comes over, I'll show you that better in a minute. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. But don't forget that this is running only four Nexuses on 32,000 gallons, right? So it is, you know, they, they're maximum rated at 30,000 gallons. So and we never put them on anything bigger really than 5,000 gallons. So these are doing a tremendous job and they're keeping the water clear, no problem. All right, it isn't, it isn't crystal clear water but for this size pond, I mean, what more do you want? I mean, it really is brilliant. So, the, originally they had 310s, we swapped them to 320s. Um, so, we, you know, we just get on with whatever we need to do on this pond. It's got an auto top up there, which is doing really well. We've only just fitted that recently. So, and that's that. Now, we are looking probably next year to put something on the skimmer line, which instead of having to clean out the Dirty Harry, because everything else is... Um, automated so we will be looking at something like that but we will have to put a bigger pipe from the skimmer into the filter house because it's only on a two inch pipe now so but yeah absolutely amazing so they really really give us no no grief really at all so let's come out of here just close this door Since the auto kit's on, I very rarely come down to this pond really, just for a bit of a catch up, have a coffee and stuff like that, but that's the automated um, roof going down. So yeah, what we can do is just come up here. And we can see to the top of the waterfall. The water's lovely and clear. Like I said, the customer has plants in here. He has his lilies. So really is beautiful from stood up here.
I couldn't have picked a better day to be honest. What we'll do is we will come back in the um, in the summer when it's all done. We can go behind the filter house here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So let me see now whether I can get a bit of an underwater shot. Let me just have a look. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed that. This is one of our favorite ponds. Like I said, this was a big part of us starting quality Nishigoi up all them years ago. Um, and this got us up on the, on the way of doing it. So no, it was a fantastic job. And it still is, we do a lot of work on this pond and we're always knocking about whenever we can. So, but yeah, it really is. It's a superb, superb pond. Like I say, I do stress that it isn't for high-end fish. It's a, just a very big garden pond and it stays clear nice all the year. The only issue that we do have is the leaves, which there's not much we can do because the client won't let us net it. So he wants to enjoy it. So we do have guys coming down in the um, winter months. Some falling in, which has been funny. Um, but yeah. So that's it. That's the pond, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up if you did. 32,000 gallons. It's a big girl. <laughs>